Hey everybody, this is So Heidi, and this tutorial is on using some of the new features of the pen tool that were released in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014. One of the great new features is the ability to preview the path that you're going to draw before you actually drop your anchor point. So I'm going to go ahead and trace this t-shirt here. I'm going to start at the center back neck and I drop my anchor point. So the first thing you'll notice that looks a little bit different is we automatically are starting to see what our path is going to look like wherever we drop our next anchor point. That was not there before. Now when you're just drawing straight paths, it's not really that exciting. The really exciting part comes when you're drawing curved paths. Now in the past you would not see this preview here. Now what's happening is the curvature is being inherited from this second extension of the handle that comes off of this anchor point here. So this curvature, this handle here defines the curvature of this next path. We used to not see this preview path coming here, so we wouldn't know if we weren't used to the way the pen tool works that we were going to be getting a curved path. If you do not want that curved path, simply mouse over the anchor point you just drew until you get a carrot top icon next to the pen tool. You'll notice it looks like an upside down V. Once you see that icon, click and that will remove the handle, thus allowing you to draw a corner, a sharp corner off of that path that you just drew. So again, you'll just keep clicking and dragging. And again, you notice here we're going to be inheriting the curvature from this handle that comes off of the end of the sleeve there. We don't want that. We'll come in and mouse back over that till we see our carrot top. Click and release. Click and drag, etc. So it makes it really easy to understand how much curvature we're going to be inheriting in each of the paths that we draw. And we can really be much more accurate about our drawings and minimize the amount of more work we have to do when we go back and fix them later. The other feature that I want to demonstrate is the ability to move the anchor point where you close your path. So in the past, you could always click and hold the space bar to move the anchor point. So let's say your mouse slipped and you dropped your anchor point right here and you're like, wait, that's not where I want it. It's a little bit low. You can hold the space bar to move that individual anchor point. That's always been available in Illustrator. What was not always available is the ability to move the anchor point at the very end when you're closing the path. So if I'm drawing this entire neck band here, and I'm going to come up and I'm going to close the path here. Now as soon as I mouse over that anchor point, my pen tool gets a circular icon, meaning I'm going to close that path. If I then wanted to move where that anchor point was, I would have to do it later in previous versions of Illustrator with the direct selection tool. But now as I close that path before I release my pen tool, I can hold the space bar and it allows me to move the starting anchor point that I just closed. Okay, so this is really handy if you, for example, had dropped your first anchor point a little bit too far away and you're drawing on this path here and you come over here to close this, instead of creating two anchor points, one up here that intersects with the outline of the shirt and one down here to close it, you can come, close it, hold the space bar and move that anchor point up. So it just allows a lot more precision and control while we are drawing our garments. The last feature I want to talk about is the ability to hand, manipulate handles independently while we're drawing them. So the handles are what come off of anchor points that control the curvature. You can see right here there's two of them. In previous versions these two handles are always paired when we are drawing with the pen tool. In order to manipulate them independently we would have to go back afterwards with the convert anchor point to manipulate them. We now have the ability as we're drawing to manipulate them independently. So I can hold the option or alt key before I release my mouse and I have the ability to manipulate this specific handle independently. So if I know I want it to be really short based on the amount of curve I want and I want it to be a sharp corner, I can do that. And now I have got exactly that. I've got a sharp corner there and a shorter handle which defines the curvature. So these are things that you probably won't use if you're just learning the pen tool, um, but the one that will be really beneficial for you is the ability to preview the path that you're going to be drawing before you actually drop the anchor point. I think that will help you avoid a lot of uh, drawing mistakes as you go through and, and start getting more comfortable with the pen tool. 
Thanks for watching. I hope that was informative about the new features released in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014. This is So Heidi. See you next time.